Okay, on the Chalupa lovers, welcome to this player go test route to Patrick Cutrone. The 20 year old strikers is a 77 overall, so 4 star skimmers and 3 star weak foot. He is 6 foot right footed with high medium work rates. As will flip over, see those initial physical and mental attributes. The 75 acceleration, 69 agility, nice, 76 balance, 75 jumping, 77 sprint speed, 72 stamina. And 74 strength, immensely 80 attack position, 72 composure, and 74 reactions. And you see that strength improve a lot uh, without training, along with the pace, as that generally is kind of the main areas that grow for uh, strikers without training physically. Then, technically, ball control, the 76 mark, a 68 curve, 74 dribbling, 80 finishing, 76 heading accuracy. 62 long shots, 68 penalties, 70 short pass, 74 shot power, and 72 volleys. So pretty good with the dribbling ability, high finishing from start of the 80 mark, and not too bad with the heading accuracy, shot power, and volleys being in those mid-70s at the moment. So a plus 3 is overall. At the end of that first inning, acceleration improving by 2 points, a plus 3 the jumping, sprint speed up by 4, strength up by 4, a plus 1 the stamina, then the attack position, aggression, composure, and reactions all improving in that season also. Now the ball control up by 2 points, curve up by 3, a plus 6 to the dribbling to hit the 80 mark, finishing up by 3, heading accuracy up by 5, a big plus 11 to his short pass, then the long shot, shot power, penalties, volleys, all improving quite a bit there also. So now up to the 84 overall, at age 22, growing very quickly, acceleration with a big plus 7, strength hitting the 80 mark with a plus 2, then a plus 1, the sprint speed, and the stamina, and immensely attack position and reactions up by 3 points. Now technically ball control up by 6, a plus 3 the dribbling, then the shot power growing by 6 points, big plus 8 to the volleys, long shots up by 4, a little improvement to the short pass there also. So now 87 overall at age 23, really not that far away from his potential now, just a couple points away. Acceleration up by 3, a plus 2 the agility, sprint speed up by 5, strength up by 8, and then stamina up by 2, and immensely some go through reactions, and technically now Ball control up by 9, so love that high ball control. Really think it's key, especially for strikers and some of the touches you get this season. I think you really need a player with high ball control. Finishing can accuracy up by 3 points, as well as some growth to the volleys there. So, start out with a beautiful finesse shot I scored with him, and he really was a lot of fun to use, especially as he grew uh, and added on that strength and uh, basically a little bit more pace to him. So, was able to get in behind there, take advantage of a poor pass from the CPU, and finish that chance. As we'll move forward again here, uh, playing the ball, quick little turn, uh, and putting that ball in the back of the net. It's really rocked that one. So his finishing was very solid. I think I missed a couple of chances with him, but uh, he, he was really good for the most part. Also, again, with the hold-up play, uh, that strength, using his body in there in that moment to help uh, you know, just spur that attack on. This time with a beautiful layoff, should have gotten an assist right there. Good short passing he has. So you'll see a lot of good hold-up play. It was just an ideal target man and could turn fairly quickly also So because he has the high dribbling ball control. Uh, the physical attributes aren't too bad, so he felt really good turning. But again, the hold-up play I thought was key with him, using his body in those tight spaces to hold the defenders off. That time taking kind of a team effort on goal, but still a wonderful player, I thought, as he ended up hitting his potential of 89 overall at age 24. So 87 acceleration, 72 agility, 76 balance. 78 jumping and 88 sprint speed, so some decent pace, then 76 stamina, and 89 strength, so really good strength to hold off those defenders, then mentally 85 attack position, 74 composure, and 80 reaction, so really good attack position, actually nice to see that for once, because a lot of these strikers... Uh, especially the mostly the lot younger ones, I think, really end up with some awful attack position. So technically, 97 ball control, 75 curve, 87 dribbling, 89 finishing, 88 heading accuracy, then 77 long shots, 73 penalties, 89 short pass. Love that short passing ability. Then 86 shot power and 94 volley. So really a complete striker, I thought. You know, he can dribble, has high ball control, very good finishing, passing. The shot in general, obviously, pretty amazing with the long shot, shot power volleys, and all that being at a pretty high level. So he's six foot, right footed with high medium work rates, three star weak foot, and four star skimmers. Do wish that weak foot was four star, because there's actually a 
couple awful hits. I, I remember that I actually should have probably put in the video also with his with his weak foot that uh, could have been a lot better if he had four star or five star. So has the dribbler specialty, just missed out on the strength and and as well as the uh, the speedster specialties. But to round out this video, we'll take a look at his individual attributes and their growth over the years. So finishing one up by nine, a plus 19 in the short pass, volleys up by 22 in the dribbling group by 13, and a plus 20 in the ball control with a plus seven of the curve acceleration grew by 12 and a plus 11 of the sprint speed agility up by three and reactions up by six and the shot power grew by 12 a plus three of the jumping plus four of the stamina long shots as well as the strength growing by 15 points then mentally positioning grew by five penalties up by five composure up by two and he's 83 as a winger, 86 as a center four. So basically, chest a striker, but a wonderful striker, especially with the additions he gets to his pace and strength. Becomes a really good dribbler with high ball control, so a beautiful touch he has. And also very good with his hold-up play due to his strength and some nice short passing to help create and hold-up play. So when he holds up play, he can really make things happen. I think, you know, especially in a 4-3-3, which is pretty much what I use the most part for the most part. Lone striker, he is perfect because he has the strength, he has the pace. He can really make things happen, not only stretch the defense, but hold off defenders and wait for those wingers uh, and midfielders to really, uh, you know, get forward and support him. So a very nice, complete striker. Really enjoyed uh, my time using him, my beautiful Chalupa lover. So with that, thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Leave a like on the video. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't at ChalupaWana. Leave the link in the comments, comments section below. So thank you all. Thank you, you all, for your support recently. Hope you have a great weekend. Have a great week. And with that, I love you all. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.